Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? It's the one and only hip hop gamer, Hot 97, Logitech G, launch life, baby. You already know what it is, son. Now, look, to my right. Now, before we even start, <laughs> Mortal Kombat 2, baby. And this ain't the Genesis or the uh, Super Nintendo version. This is the arcade version. This is the real one. Yeah, so it's going uh-huh. down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see it. So, look, got my man Dylan on the right hand side of me. Let him know who you are and what you do, bro. I'm Dylan. I work in politics. I'm an organizer. We're hosting a huge march around the world in a couple weeks. I'm here helping these guys out. I just met these guys a few weeks ago. It's yep. an honor to be here. I'm going to get my ass kicked in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I can't Let's wait. Go. I can't wait. Let's go. So, the one, the only, Harlem in the building, my dude, B.I., Universal Basic Income is in effect, my dude, James Felton. Keith, what's going on, baby? God bless you, man. How you feel, man? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, everybody watching, I'm, I'm running for U.S. Congress in Harlem in the 13th District of New York. We're launching a huge march on the 26th of October for universal basic income. If you're not familiar, that's $1,000 a month for everybody, everybody around this <coughs> whole place. Uptown, that's $500 million a month to everybody. Ooh. It's a thing we can do. It's a thing we can pay for. It's a digital thing. It's a it's a reality that's only available to us in this 21st century. We're going we're gonna to dig into it while I get my ass beat as well. Let's do it. So look, if y'all want $1,000 a month, Y'all already see it. My man James talking about it. Andrew Yang talking about it. We about to make it happen. And we're going to do a gaming UBI as well. Stay tuned. You see me yelling. You see how my voice is hoarse. That's how how excited I am. So let's go, baby. All right, cool. All right, bet. So, um, all right, we about to get it up. We about to get it started, man. We're going to see where your skills is at. Hold up. Let me make sure this is good. So you set? All right, cool. Bet. All right. Cool. Now, you got to hit start. I right, get your character. This is the classic Mortal Kombat, baby. Let's go. <clears throat> America, stand up. Really? Oh, let's go. Really? Let, let's see. Let's see what they got. Let's see the skills they got. We watching. We watching politicians I, I, battle right now. <laughs> Yo, Anthony Bell in the building. Yo, listen. Drop your city. Drop your city in the chat so I can shout y'all out. Yo, Anthony Bell in the building. Rollins crew, what up? Yo, John, what oh, up? Oh man. RB. Oh wait, wait, who won? I won. He I won, won so that. fast. Won. I'm so bad. Oh god, I got some controls now. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Let me find out. Oh, you got a block too? Yeah, right. <laughs> you just gonna keep jumping back. <laughs> oh, come oh. on, Dylan, come on. Let's I go. Know the controls, let's man. go. I got baby. it, I got it. Yo, I need Brooks tutorial. In the building. Look, yo, we got London in the building right now. Yo, Vermont is in the building. Atlantic City is in the building. Camden, New Jersey in the building. Yo, where Harlem at? Anybody from Harlem? Flawless. flawless. You got a flawless victory on them? No, I did not get a flawless. Oh, you got a flawless? Yeah, come on. Yo, I'm just bad. I'm just bad. I said. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta get a pretty old gamer in here. All right. You gotta. Yo, I'm gonna cheat codes right here. I'm gonna jump in right now. I'm gonna jump in right now. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch. Ah, rating. I'm kicking my ass. Yeah. I'm gonna James jump in right now. We're gonna see what's up. James is embarrassed for so me you, right now. You can hold the uh, <laughs> chair. No, let's go. Though. Yo, let's they go. said Vermont is lit. You're scared. You're talking shit a second ago. <laughs> oh, what's up, baby? Oh. Oh. Damn. Connecticut's here, New Jersey. Got him. Oh, let's go, fuck. baby. Let's go, wait, baby. Wait. He got him. He got him. Oh, he got him. Oh, so, he got him oh, so. man, your, little, your head was a little big a second ago. Ah, let's go. <laughs> I, just, I gotta rem- I can't. You gotta remember the controls. I was pressing the wrong buttons the whole time. Yeah, You're I was, fucked. Uh, oh, let's go. Let's go. From Philly. Nice. Let's go. Vallejo, California. Come on. Let's go, yeah. baby. Come on. That I, I ah! forgot the I forgot the fatality. Oh man! Wait, I got yeah. I got See, like he was talking trash levels. before. I need two or three Yo, levels. listen. Does everything listen? Does everything look good and sound good, y'all? Let me know if everything looks good and sounds good on the, on the stream. Elm City is in the building. What's up, Elm City? What's popping? So I'm gonna play it one more time. All right, let's go. All right, no, no, hit, hit select. No, no, hit select. You're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. So I'm gonna play you one more time, and then we got some we got stuff to talk about. 
I'm about to raise it again. Oh, all right. He gonna, he gonna try to go back to Lou. I can't remember the moves. I only remember one move. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm trying to do some fancy stuff. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, 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 oh
is it fair that y'all don't get nothing for that? Like just just the, as a collective, right. it's yeah. not right. So it's not that we're giving you a handout. You owe it to yourself because of the value that you bring just for existing. Yes, so that's, that's what right. I love about the way y'all break it down. So now, Dylan, what I want to talk to you about, I know you guys is working together uh, organizing the march and yeah. everything. Now, I didn't know that the march was worldwide. I thought it was oh, yeah. just in Harlem when we first spoke. So, city so far. Yeah, yeah, so that's crazy. So talk to me how y'all was able to put that together collectively, yeah. city to city to city, country to country like that. That's crazy. Well, it's really not about what we're doing. It's about just letting people participate, okay. right? And having a platform online just like this where they can jump in and say, I want to march, I want to host a march, I want to speak, yeah. I want to invite my friends to speak, I want to educate people around me about the value of us and about UBI yeah. and why this we deserve to have this in the 21st century. So Absolutely. when James and I got together just a couple months ago, we said we can. this can be bigger than a small get-together in Harlem. It can be a big march in Harlem, it can be a big march in cities everywhere. So now we're in six countries, we're in 21, 22 cities, crazy. That's crazy. Berlin, Amsterdam, That's crazy. Sweden just signed <coughs> up, we're Somewhere all across Kenya, the right? states, Kenya, yeah. Ghana, Seoul, South Korea, yeah, South uh, Korea, big in gaming Korea, you should all come out, you should all march. Definitely. Um, and it's everywhere, and it starts now, right? Even if a city is 50 people marching, that has value because this is the first and, well, by virtue of that, the largest ever march for basic income. Wow. And, and, and it's really okay. about just getting people to pay attention. Like, this is what we owe us, as James says, and you should learn more, because at face value, it sounds like a handout, but it's not. Yeah. Gotcha. And so this march is about just getting people to pay attention. Just like the climate movement started 30 or 40 years ago with small marches, this is the first uh, and we're going to have one every year or every month until people listen, until they hear what we have to say, until we start changing laws and get what we owe us. So join a march, start a march, come to our website, email us. We'll help you out. We, you know, we want 40 cities. We still got 10, 10 days left. So wow. jump Basic on Income board. March .com. Basic yeah. Income March. All right, so basicincomemarch.com. Exactly. Now, look, if y'all got questions, leave your questions right now so we can answer the questions. But right now, we're about to get back to some battles. I'm ha Now, I haven't fought you yet. Yeah, let's so go. I'm going to fight you right now. I'm going to fight you right now. So let's go. Right. So we're about to get back to this game. Let's go. All right, cool. All right, James, you hold the chat. Yeah, yeah. It's something like that. All right, cool. Let's go. I'll take that right, one bet. controller. All right. All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's go. We'll turn this back up. Turn this back up, and we ready to go. <clears throat> yeah, I can't remember anything. All right, uh, hit start, so you can uh, come in. No, start, yeah. You know what, I'm going to go with Scorpion. That's not my best character in this one, it's but I'm going to go with Scorpion. <clears throat> Ooh, the pit too, that's one of my favorite levels. I mean, yeah, it's, it's Mortal Kombat, of course. They're like, is this not Mortal Kombat? Yeah. Oh, damn. Let's go, baby. What the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I'm in the zone, son. What up? That's what I'm talking about, man. Anybody <clears throat> talking about Trump? Oh, uh, no, he said, uh, no, he said, what does it got to do with Trump? No, in the title, oh, yeah, we're we going to get to that. You're going to see what the title <laughs> oh, is. Oh, okay, oh, all right. <clears throat> That's going to be my next question for you. Oh, we did, we did, So, so, you, so yeah. you're going to see what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 really? Oh, oh come God. on. <laughs> come on. Oh. oh, I tried to do my fatality. Wait, wait, oh, didn't man. you win already? Oh, yeah, I won. Man. Okay. I tried to win fatality. You didn't even see the first win. <laughs> yeah, all right, cool. The second win. All right, so we can, we can play one more again. All right, all right. It was too <clears throat> fast. Yeah, now nah, hit start. The, you were in there. I mean, select. So, sorry, select. I don't know why I didn't let you uh, start. Maybe it's too That's disconnected. Weird. Let me see. That's weird. It should have let you start. <laughs> you beat me too bad. I'm out. Let me see. <laughs> that I didn't let you do it? That's okay, weird. All right, you know what? That is fine. You, you'll come in. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, let's go. So the question about Trump, we're going to get into that after this match. 
It's gonna be a dope question too. Okay, get ready. Right, get ready. Get ready. Right, it's gonna get right. dope. It's gonna be dope. I'll be, do like it's like forward A, forward A. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Forget it, you're hopeless. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, oh man, man so, so fast. I feel like Raiden hit harder than everybody else. He always boom. Oh, nice, okay. Got him. Oh. Hold up. Ah, right, oh. there we go. Is that only one? Oh, that's two. Ah, oh. yeah. I got him. I got him. It was great. Oh, it was great destroying yeah. you, man. Yeah, <laughs> All right, next round, I'm gonna have y'all two play against each other again. Something like, like that. I'm gonna destroy you. What? What? What I tell you? Yeah, what I tell you? What I tell you? This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do, y'all. So, so look. So now we're gonna we're gonna talk more like this is gonna be very important. So we're gonna talk a lot more about not just UBI, but the impact on gaming period. So let's get into it. Yeah. Alright, cool. That's how right. y'all can watch me get beat up. It's fine. I'm not playing right now. Boom, Boom. turn this down. I remember thinking that turn those that graphics, like those <clears throat> levels were like was so the real, most right? artistically brilliant things uh -huh. ever. Alright, so shout room. out to Ki shout out to Kiki, Jeff. Marcos, what's going on, y'all? All right, so now they came with your strategy for what we're talking about. So oh, the title of the video is Can Gaming yeah. Be One of the Factors That Defeat Trump in 2020? So my question to you, James, yeah. is just to get you just to give you the stats. Here's the stats. Yeah. So 59% of gamers right now will mm -hmm. be voting. In oh, 2020, really? yes. Okay. okay. 59 okay. percent of gamers. Now, keep in mind, there's two billion gamers in the world. Yeah. Two billion and growing, Bigger right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, this is worldwide. Okay. This is worldwide. So, 59 percent of gamers across the board is planning to vote in 2020. Mm -hmm. Now, when you think about gaming, right, and how this thousand dollars can be valuable, mm -hmm. think about the system. Think about the PC. Think about the streaming. Think about the headsets. Think about all the stuff that it costs to buy into gaming to get your career started in that field. Yeah. yeah. And how UBI in one month can get you started in your passion. Yeah. When it comes yeah, to gaming. Totally so yeah. I just wanted to set the, the platform, the stage, mm -hmm. to understand that how gaming and the percentage of people that play games can actually be the difference maker in who wins the election. Next, sure. You know I what mean, I'm saying? So what are your thoughts on that, especially being a champion for the UBI as well? I mean, I think what number one, those numbers are huge in general because, you know, the gaming community, well, they're bigger than every other sports community, number one. Absolutely. I didn't know that 59% was the number. Yes. Um, that's a hell of a number. But uh, more broadly than that, when we even get into what we were talking about earlier about inputs to productivity, when we talk about these game consoles or what goes into the actual way the game looks, the software, yes. the culture that's portrayed in the software, it's really a reflection of us. Right, I mean, it's a reflection of even all of these moves were human moves at yeah. some point, even though they do some supernatural things. And so we're all, as we participate in this process of gaming, an input to the productivity of the whole industry of gaming. And when I say we owe us, I'm even talking about this industry owes us a bit of the productivity from itself <clears throat> because we're an input to it. And so that said, extrapolating outside of gaming like there are 5.3 million companies uh in this country right now that pay taxes those are the only ones we, we acknowledge as companies mm. if we look at all of those companies if we extract a, a dividend from all of those companies to pay out a thousand dollars a month per person when you think about someone who who can't afford to get a console right now or who can't afford to ante up with a couple of friends to get a console right now that thousand dollars a month puts them right on track to play to participate to win some of these competitions, you name it. Mm. Or Very to, interesting. To really align their passions in life, you know, yeah. whatever it might be. Yeah. You know, I mean, they may, you know, get in the game and it may, it may pour out into so many other things. You know, yeah. the people they meet may pour out into so many other things. So what the thousand dollars a month is really about, and the, the way I think it, it can not only defeat Trump, but defeat like what I would think is the, the broader depression that's happening in this country is I think people feel hopeless about their ability to participate in the world at all 
Mm. And it's really because access costs, right? Mm. So twelve thousand dollars a year Facts. puts people on course to say, if I did want to stop whatever I was doing that I hated doing, yeah, to figure out what I might love doing, this gives me an opportunity to catch my breath, to buy some time, like literally buy some time, yeah. buy some things, buy a console, you name it, to then come out and participate in a world that feels truly authentic to me. So this money is really like peace of mind. And the kick is we're not giving anybody the money. We're not, you know, this is money that we already owe them. There's too much trapped on the side of sort of the winner take all who established the country. Absolutely, the absolutely. This is about acknowledging a way, a new mechanism, a very <clears throat> 21st century mechanism to say, I'm gonna pay people for their participation in the natural world. Gotcha. And that makes an economy. And so I think it gives people, it gives people peace of mind. It, it moves them away from the hate that we see that I think Trump is inciting yeah. and the, the divisions in the country and takes people back to stuff that brings them together. Or like mm-hmm. the three of us here. Yeah, know, absolutely. I love it. I love it. It's about being able to afford to come together. That's that's what UBI does. I love yeah. I love the way you broke down access. It is. Access, access is so yeah. important because yeah. you got a lot of people that's great and talented but don't got the tools or the access to be able to showcase that mm-hmm. so right. they get left in the dirt even though their quality of talent is high. So yeah. I love that. It yeah. breaks the barrier and makes it more fair. So here's something I want to share with y'all. Uh, shout out to Webby. Webby said that why are we mixing games and yeah. politics? Yeah. I'm going to tell you why. So one of the reasons why we chose this game today to play, aside from James saying he could beat me in it, <laughs> and, and that ain't happened. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, Mortal Kombat back in 1993, I believe, yeah. that was the first game that really brought the government yeah. to the gaming world because of how graphic and how, you know, Sub-Zero ripping your head off, like yeah, all these things. Mm-hmm. All so, that, yeah. you know, automatically, I don't want my kid playing this. This is for kids. It ain't supposed to be. All this other stuff started happening. Yeah. So, all the way back then, government has been targeting games. And yeah. then, if you fast forward to today, we're to blame for mass shootings. We're right. to blame for all these other things. It's a scapegoat. It's, it's a scapegoat all the time. Tell me what video game did Hitler play? Right. Because yeah. he killed a lot of people. Right. All right, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? So it's mm-hmm. all bull. So the reason why we wanted to mix this up is because instead of waiting and falling back to be the scapegoat, now we want to bring the attention and bring the energy and go full, fast forward to challenge all the ignorance that people try to say about what gaming is. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. my grandmother taught me how to play games, yeah. and it changed my life. And I've never been arrested. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do none of these things either. Like... So at the end of the day, I use myself as a representation of the barrier breakers. Mm-hmm. I think it's about community. You know what I mean? I think gaming is what everyone, when we play a game, when we used to play this and whatever, 95, 96. <laughs> Everybody saying big facts. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it really, it is, it's about community. Like Facts, people, Renee. People get to spend time See, together. Yo, yeah. you gotta give a shout out to Renee. Yeah, mm-hmm. Renee. You can't yeah, give you the capital to start it. your own business. It really can, it really can. Yo. Out of your own community, you know or what I'm whatever saying? whatever you're so, good at, or be an artist, or be a singer. Absolutely. Like, Matter of fact, that. I got a question, hold on. I got a question for the chat. If money was no option or no object to you, like if you yeah. didn't have to go to your day job, what would you be doing instead of what you have to do? Like. If you woke up in the morning, what do you want to do that you would love to do every day that you wake up in the morning? Yeah. If money was no option and mm-hmm. you just had it, what would you be doing right now? Right. Please say that in the chat. What's some of the things that y'all would be doing or want to do? Because yeah. this yeah. whole movement is to help us get closer to that message. And I bet most people aren't going to say, sit around all day. Yeah, they want exactly. to do, wanna do stuff. Yeah, right. And Everybody it's like, like this they you contribute to the. Yeah. Carlos said music. Mm-hmm. Music, Bam. right? See what I'm saying? There you go. Yo, yo, this is oh, they amazing. Getting in there. They getting yeah, in there. Cool. The, yo, it's crazy. Yeah. Start a nonprofit. Homeless. Help the homeless. Yeah. Yo, you know what I'm saying? So they in there. Yeah, Google and it, it's it's yeah. crazy. Like become the learn, next Stan Lee in animation. Learn how to Shout animate. Shout out to Kevin. Yeah. You yo, listen. I'm gonna put my email out. My email is hiphopgamer at hiphopgamer.net. Anything that y'all want to do that y'all real passionate about. Let me know as well. The reason why is because I do have connections to a lot of things that y'all just said y'all want to do. Yeah. Let's make it happen. The march is October 26th. Um, please talk more about the march, the goal of the march, and where it takes place. I mean, the goal of the march, the, the march is activism, right? So there's always a lot of, we had, a, we had an intellectual event here in East Harlem uh, this past April. It was called the National um, Congress for 
a basic income guarantee. And there were a lot of mm. academics around talking in a real heady way about what UBI could be. And I said, we need to take this to the streets. We need to take it to action. And they were like, well, what does that mean? You know, what does that mean politically? I'm like, it always starts with a fight. Like justice, being able to get these people what they need uh, so that they can realize their dreams, so that they can participate well in the economy, in the world, and society. It's always a fight. So the march is a fight. It's, uh, you know, it's a protest first. So we're going to kick it off at Convent Baptist Church with some words from some, some protesters from, you know, new and old ages. And we're going to march over to the Bronx. And the reason that we're starting it in New York, outside of the 21 other cities that we have right now, is we started in the two poorest districts in the richest city, in mm. the richest nation mm. in the country, to say these are the folks who need to know about this more than anything else. So, so the march to sum it all up, it's a protest, you know. Gotcha. Is it's there a fight. Any, is there anywhere where people could go up and like sign up right now to put their ballot in so much, like uh, in yeah. terms of like uh, not just for the march, but being aware of all the moves you're making, so they can always be on point to support what yeah. the cause is. Yeah. What's go to the site. BasicIncomeMarch.com. BasicIncomeMarch.com. Once again, that's BasicIncomeMarch.com. Dylan, my and that's and that's just the the march is the first. Yeah, it's just a like, commencement. Yeah, we they, want to give something people to do. Yes. Yeah. to participate in this movement, and then after that, we're going to be doing all sorts of things. God, yeah. so I can't wait to see. Put your email in there, sign up, and like this is just the beginning of all sorts of events. I can't wait to see what else y'all got going on. What yo, going in there? Yo, yeah. yo, Dimitri, what's going on? Uh, he, he's up like Mortal Kombat, what's good? <laughs> so um, so now, uh, one of the uh, questions that the um, audience had, I, I would love to um, hear from both of y'all, but um, one of the questions that they had was, they were saying that don't rely on the government to do anything because they're not going to do it. Oh, what about government. what about blockchain? Like that's that's what they were saying. Mm-hmm. So I'm not underst- I, I don't know how to really answer sure. that question. No, I can but dig if, into that. Yeah. You can dig into that. Well, I built All a right. blockchain called Integrate. Like back, you know, in '09 before you know, Ethereum blew a lot of us out of the water. And here's the deal: we can further decentralize our government through tools like blockchain, etc. We can distribute money to people who are gaming or anything else via blockchains. But it's a, it's just a system that helps us free up hands that would normally be in the system. And I think it's generally gotcha. a good thing. The deal is, I saw somebody else right in there like nothing is free. You're absolutely right. Nothing is free. This is not about giving people free money. That just doesn't exist. Yeah, it's Jeff, it's not free people, money, Jeff. It's not free. This is about giving people an equity stake that they're owed <clears throat> in productivity. For their input, rather, to productivity. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to yeah. cut you off. Hey, Jeff, yeah. the fact that you're in this chat right now... Yeah makes you extremely valuable to what we're doing here on Hot 97, yeah, Logitech G, Hip Hop Gamer. Your existence being in here provides value. And I'm gonna show you, yeah, I'm gonna show you why. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, let's say a company like uh, Walmart said, I'm gonna give you $500,000, Hip Hop Gamer, because your streams are huge. You play a role, as well as everybody else in here, co- as a collective, that gets me a $500,000 check. But if I'm getting five hundred thousand dollars and y'all not getting nothing, yet you're the part of the reason why I get that. Don't you deserve a piece of that too? Right. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Just by being here gives you value. So your your existence is not free because you have corporations like Amazon who will take the data on what we like to buy, what we like to do. Like if I'm walking down the block. That's that's data for Samsung to utilize to sell their hot watch. Like right. all of this stuff plays a role. It made I the whole block hot though. Like yeah. the whole block. Everything. Is so that's really why existed. that is, bro. Yeah. That's yo. I love this conversation. Yeah. So Dylan, I got a question for you, man. Um, like from a standpoint of um working with James. Yeah. What's your role in helping James get to his um uh be, you know be elected? Like you know what I mean, so that he can run Harlem and really get this off the ground being in office. Yeah, so before this, I was working for Andrew Yang. and Shout out to Andrew Yang. Shout that's my Andrew dude. Yang. Yo, yeah. I got to get Andrew yeah. Yang on the show, too. I would love to have y'all all come back and yo, have Andrew come have through. Andrew we, come should, we, can yo, all, you, we can all be all, yeah. all yo, at Mortal Kombat at the same time. Yo, I want to put out a challenge right now. James Felton <laughs> Keith versus Andrew <laughs> Yang <laughs> in Mortal <laughs> Kombat <laughs> on Hot 97. <laughs> Let's go. All right, go ahead, bro. Well, that, and that's where it started. Before that, I was you know working on companies and using the internet, and I think that, like, so much in politics and organizing is lost 
and sort of behind the times. Yeah. Right? There's more technology in selling a mattress to you than into getting the right politician or the right movement started. That's a good one. And so yeah. we so sort of we are trying to bring and I'm trying to help bring um, sort of the organizing that happens online that Andrew Yang's campaign is doing exceptionally well mm. to other movements <clears throat> and yeah. sort of politicians that, that I, I love and support like James and to the Basic Income March and to sort of generally doing good and sort of amplifying our message. And that's what we're doing with the Basic Income March. It's the reason it's in six countries in yeah. four weeks. It's and amazing. this is just the start. It's crazy, and it's yeah, just like, four weeks. And, Yo, you know, see, Renee said, wow, great way to break it down. <clears throat> Captain, they told a gaming company to shut up and ban a certain player because they mix politics in the game. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, like these things is happening. Yeah. So because of, um, you know, what just took place with NBA and China mm -hmm. and, and League of okay. Legends, it's, it's, a, it's a real thing in terms of politics and gaming. It's yeah. been that way. So instead of us sitting back just letting them attack, 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 yeah. now we going on offense. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. All right, let's get let's get some more rounds in. <laughs> and then after this, we're gonna have a few more questions and then we'll wrap it up. Alright, yo, y'all ready for some more battles? Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna have James go against Dylan again. Oh, let's go. I, I hit select. Yeah. So we can start it up. Cool. Oh wait, hold on one second. My bad. I just wanna make sure uh everything is louder. Boom. Oh, what's that? What are you? What are you running? Uh, the... This is OBS. Oh, okay. oh yeah, now you said that before. Yep. All right. Oh, oh now shit. Now y'all start. Now y'all start. Y'all start. start. <clears throat> yo, Crystal is in the building. What up, Crystal? Did you mean to pick up? What up? Yo, yo. <laughs> shout out to my man. Um, uh, it's money. What up? My man Jamal's money. Yo, what's going on, bro? So yeah, we live here. Am I so. Here? Yeah, that's you. Yep. Uh, so look, it's the one and only Hip Hop Gamer, Hot 97, Logitech G, Launch Life, baby. It's going down, you know what I'm saying? James Felton Keith, my man Dylan in the building, talking oh, about the universal basic income, and somebody's getting destroyed right now. <laughs> yo, yeah. how you, Flawless, yo. Come on. You got a full victory. Mean, you picked the wrong, like, you didn't mean, did you mean? Yo, that's crazy. No, no, I gang, just Gang, gang, baby, start. gang, gang. That's what I'm talking about. Gang, yeah, they, they on it. Yeah, yeah, son. It's going to be crazy. Yo, shout out to M on it. Yeah, we going old school for this one. All right, let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. All right, yo, you think you nice. You think you nice. I'm telling you, I'm ready. You think you nice? Let's go. If I can swim about him. Uh, no, you got to pull the uh, right trigger. Right trigger's the block. Yeah, right trigger's the block. But you got to hold it. It's right not here. left on that. If on your left side. Oh. That's why I yo. Yo, hey, yo, yo, Carlos, I didn't check my email yet, but I definitely will check my email. All right. What time you got? With uh, 155. So if you got a break, go. it's all good. I got a break. I right, about one more. All right, cool, one more. All right, so we're going to so we gonna let this uh, count down, and then there you go. Let's get it. Right. Shout out to Chris Stop in the building. Uh, worth, uh, worth of goods and services month at the month. You have to fix the currency oh, okay. and inflation before UBI will. Apparently, this is the guy. Can, um, ever we have haven't had inflation in 20 years. I didn't say we haven't had inflation in 20 years. Inflation so. only really exists where real estate is involved. So, real estate costs more, education costs more, healthcare costs more because they're directly tied to, to real, real estate. estate. Got you. Everything else, per modern technology, has become cheaper over time because we've been automating. Not with robots, but we've been automating the way we make decisions. So, like, if I got somebody to make a better decision around what controls to pick, I could kill Dylan right now. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 I can't move. I Bullshit. Oh, I can't move. He got one. <laughs> Everyone always he wants got to talk one. about, uh... Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, Pl yeah, plug it back in, plug it back in. Oh, all right, there you go, you should be good. All right. All right, let's go. Technicality on that one, I, I had you. Oh, you? Oh, all right, cool, got you, got you. I want to go to the fans, but anyway. Yo. But yeah, but that, that is the this deal. Like, when people talk about inflation, you know, it's not really what it was. If you think about the price of food, the price of stuff at the grocery store, with the exception of, like, bread and milk here and there, it hasn't really gone up. And the problem is Ooh. a lot of people think they can afford their lives. Oh, you kill me. Oh, wow. Let's go. They can't Let's afford go. Get a little they in deep on less. So they don't think keep talking, right? yeah, keep talking, keep talking. They don't think they're old anything new. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Freshman, dealing year, freshman year economics lesson, guys. <laughs> dealing what? Dealing what? 
Yo, 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 Def, oh, definitely, right, man. Dude, Thank you so right, much. Man. All right, so we're going to keep it rocking. We're going to keep it rocking. That. Yo, shout out to Costa Rica one. in the building. Shout out to Costa Rica. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta be legend. I see you. So we're going to play yeah, one, so we gonna play one more match. And then um, yeah. we, we're going to talk more about, um, you know, the UBI and get a get also a, a quick history on James and, and why he's running and why he's in the position he's in. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. What do you think of the show so right. far, man? No, I love, I'm loving it. This is like... This is the most interactive thing I've ever seen, period. Like, it's seen it all from behind the scenes. Wow. Ooh! I love this level, too. The Living Forest. Oh, what's up, baby? Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Nope. Ah! Oh, oh, oh! 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 What's up? Oh! Hold what's on! Up? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, all right, all right. Are you serious now? Hold on. Ah. Flawless victory, flawless victory. He Come thought he on. was special. Come on. He thought he was special. Ah. Let's go. Nice. Woo! Ah. Woo! Yo, yo, oh, you got, yo, you can play though, son. I mean, I can't. I can, you can play though, son. I can think through it. Yo, yo, you can play though. To be quick. All right, let me. Uh, all right, all right. So we gonna get back. We gonna get back to this conversation. Oh man, we gonna get back to this conversation. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, good. that was good. How, how you felt? That was fun. That, was, that got me. Yeah. All right, so now you see the power like of gaming, right? I'm like, hitting this, every, you know, every couple of days. I'm just telling you, it's crazy. Just to see, I'm gonna come back. <laughs> yo, yo. So look, y'all. So we got a few more uh, questions, then we are gonna wrap it up. Um, so James, what I want to ask you is, um, yep. What about you in in like your like personal life? Some of the hardships that you've gone through, yeah. that made you decide that you wanna not just for yourself, yeah. but for the people. Do something that can help everyone. I mean, it really, I think a lot of these stories, and even like we were talking about earlier, like a lot of these social conversations we have, I mean, everything is politics. You know, how we live out in the world, how we want to come and present out in the world without people, you know, harass us or looking at us crazy. Like, I remember <clears> a day <throat> where, you know, cats would tell me, like, don't wear a hoodie because you might get hit up. Except, yeah. like, I'm from, I'm originally from Detroit. I had to basically, I look at myself. Motor like, City, gotta do Eminem, it. I had to throw that out there. I look at myself like a refugee in Detroit. Like it was, it's a wild place. I had to come to New York. I left Detroit in 99 to come here. Harlem had a lot of similarities. And you know, just growing up as a black kid with nothing <laughs> really, you start thinking about how do I get a piece of the pie? And you know, the old world was always, you know, how do I, you know, grow up, start a company, make a million dollars. Right. And so you do that once or twice, and then you start to think, this ain't actually changing nobody's life. Right. And so you started thinking about, like, broader distribution problems. When we talk about UBI, we're really talking about solving the distribution problem of getting people the capital, not only that they need, but that they're owed. Right. And so Facts. as I keep Facts. going into what we're owed, you know, it keeps expanding out into this broader sort of philosophical and even moral conversation around most politicians when they run for office, they run against problems that they see around them. No, Trump's villain, his problem that he's running against is immigration. Bernie Sanders' problem that he sees is corporations. Andrew Yang's is even automation. Mind none of that. When I say we owe us, it's really broader than we owe us money. It's like we owe us dignity. We owe us enough courage to stand up for ourselves and say, we deserve to be a piece of this pie. As I looked around me and all the, all the black cities of America, which I feel like Harlem is like, you know, no offense to the Brooklyn Knights, you know. Yeah, no doubt. But, but, I'm Brooklyn right, all day, right, but right, I feel you. I right. feel you. Go ahead, as go ahead. we look at Harlem as like this, this mecca for blackness, whether I would be in Baltimore, Detroit, or New Orleans, or the southern part of LA County, or St. Louis, or Chicago, or you name it, I was just seeing us being cast out. You know, it's forecasted <clears> that by 2030, black folks are gonna have zero net wealth, like in their in their families. You know, that's mm. a problem, especially when our culture is what's distributed so broadly around here. Absolutely. And so the problem that I wanted to fix as an engineer, as an economist, and now as a politician was how do we distribute our value back to us? Like, how do we do that in a moral way? How do we do it in an economic way? How do we tie those things together? 
And I realized it wasn't a technological feat. It wasn't about building a company. It was more about having a moral conversation with people politically and tying that into some sort of tangible good around what is moral. And it is moral to pay people. Even like you were saying earlier, like you could run out here and be like, yo, Logitech offered me, Walmart offered me a half a million dollars to do X, Y, Z. Now, I'm not saying you're not worth two, three times as much as yeah. the folks who are validating your existence. You might be worth that hundred, and you do it over and over and over again, but Absolutely. everybody else is worth a Still plays piece. a role. Right. They still play a and role. And they're worth that everywhere else that they tune in. And so the work is making sure that people know that they are valuable because no one told us that. No one yeah. told us that we were good, that we were valuable, et cetera. I mean, a few of us who are doing what we're doing may have known that somehow, some way, whether it was through like grandmoms. Or yep. My grandma was a, you know, a yep. similar way. She was an activist. She was a panther. She was a Nation of Islam convert. So she would tell us, like, <clears throat> you have value. But that's not everybody's grind. That's not everybody's every day. And so what got me into this was trying to figure out a new way to get people back in control of their lives and where people understood that they were valuable. And, you know, it may seem esoteric and wonky, but it's at the core of everything else. Like, if we don't believe we're worth anything when we walk outside, we're not going to fight for anything. We're not going to demand anything. And everything around us, our society, our political infrastructure, our institutions just start to crumble. Mm. We're not participating in it. Absolutely. Oh, man. So, and been the work. And one of the major things I want uh, <clears throat> to uh, ask you, yeah. just to get your thoughts on it, yeah. but one thing that everybody talks about, especially in the black community, sure. is uh, reparations. Yeah, yeah. So what I want to ask you is the combination of James Felton Keith with universal basic income, yeah. the combination of Andrew Yang becoming president yeah. and him uh, uh, with the universal basic income as well. Yeah. What two, is, this is a two-part question. Sure. Like, I know a lot of times people talk about the presidency, sure. but that shouldn't be the main focus because sure. you also have the House, the Senate, and all these sure. other things, need too. You need, you need the infrastructure. We would have to put that bill on <clears throat> his desk for him to actually sign to make it real. Yeah, so my question to you is, what realistically needs to happen between you, Yang, and others involved to actually make this, like, really, really happen? Yeah. And two, yeah. when it comes to reparations, yeah. which is... Outside of what UBI is, totally outside. Yeah. What are your thoughts yeah. on how that can actually finally sure. happen as well? So let me. I'll answer the, the the second one first. All right. So I'm pro, pro reparations. I got on our website. It is separate from UBI. I think a lot of people <coughs> out in middle America think, oh, it's the, the exact same. Everyone's getting their piece. Like, no, nah, it's not the exact same. When we talk about what people are worth for their, again, input to productivity. I keep trying to go back to that as we talk to people over the course of this hour or any hour. It's all our ways about input to productivity. When we look at black folks, people from the African diaspora, people who came from slaves, even if they mix in a little bit, clearly I'm a little yellow, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not mixed to how I felt. Like I'm just black. Where I'm from, you just got black got people and white people. But yeah, yeah. Is, we are owed a piece of the productivity and the infrastructure from this country, mm -hmm. and that is reparations. Now, 40 acres and a mule ain't worth that much anymore. You know, uh, rural land, sparse land where people don't exist ain't worth that much anymore. What's really valuable now are transactions between people in, in dense populations. And so I think as people trade culture and institutions that we built, like yeah. the White House yeah. and everything else, you know, uh, you know, modern music, you know, modern entertainment, you name it, uh, and a lot of other <clears throat> you know, really valuable companies. I think that certain subsidies should exist for us across the board with regards to housing, health care, education, where we're not just removing, you know, conservatives always talk about removing barriers to entry to help companies and people do stuff. I'm all for that, but I'm also all for building long runways that we need to fully self-actualize, fully like love ourselves and be productive sane members of society without all of the you know post-traumatic stress that we suffer from even nowadays people suffer from post-traumatic you know prison syndrome After, yeah right this yep. second and can't participate so reparations are owed to us separately from everyone else for our unique participation in the development of this hyper productive place and i think that we can distribute those well by an act of congress and garner support 
for it bit by bit. And we, I think we've started to see that even on the conservative end. People go, I think we need to do this. Uh, you know, conservative writers for the New York Times are op edding around reparations, which has been shocking me because I feel like mm -hmm. we've been talking about it for, uh, you know, 150 yeah, years. Yeah, so long, yeah. So that's number one. Second, with regards to passing UBIs and other legislation in the U.S. Congress, look, Andrew Yang, if he can make it to the White House, he needs a Congress that's knowledgeable to put the bills on his desk. So the real reason that I started this income march, and while we were excited that Dylan came over and is building this broader income movement to start to you know, punch at the gate, yeah. is we need <clears throat> dozens of people running for Congress to say if a bill exists on UBI, then I will sign it. So what I've been doing as a lobbyist, as a political candidate, is I've been lobbying everybody to, when we produce a UBI piece of legislation, that they will all sign it. Mm, so I think, okay, yeah, I okay. mean, so that's really been the work. When, when I met I met Andrew Yang back in 2018, and he was like, "I'm gonna run, and this is how it's gonna look." I was like, "Well, then I'm gonna run too, and this is how it's that's gonna look. look." Got you. And so as you do your part, <clears throat> we're gonna do ours to make sure we can deliver a culture, a from each angle too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, talk yeah. About this. You know, we got people in the U.S. Senate talking about it, and others, and the fact that we explain it as a derivative of data. That everyone knows it's not just it's not just Facebook, Google, and Amazon that are data companies. Every company makes decisions based on humans' personal data, whether it's consumer data or employee data. If you're an employee somewhere and you write an email somewhere, that's your personal data. That's coming from how you learned how to communicate with folks. Everything in existence is really just a derivative. I mean, every TV screen, every light everything, post light, everything. every hat, every shirt we it's wear. It's based off data. It's based off data that comes from humans. Everything only exists because humans demand it. And so what that really means is that all matter, everything in existence is a derivative of people's personal data. So put, we owed all of it. Put it like this. Why yeah. do you think Offset mm. invested in FaZe Clan? Why do you think Drake is with 100 Thieves? Yeah. Why do you think like Kevin Durant and Rick Fox, you know, with Echo Fox, we all know how that, you know, turned out. But yeah, why yeah. do you think they got involved in gaming? Yeah. Because when they sat back and they looked at the what? The data. The data. They was like, yo, I got to get involved. So when you see these, yeah, yeah, when you see these things, it's going to make you act. But without the data, people wouldn't make a move. But where does the data come from? All of our behavior. Yeah. So when you say that it's free, it's not. Like, people utilize what we do. We treat ourselves like it's nothing yeah. when somebody on the outside will see it as valuable. Yeah. And instead of telling you that it's valuable, they'll make you feel like it's free to take it from you. Right, which makes you feel valueless. It's really demeaning Ooh. to you. It's a, it's a, it's a culture. That it's, it's abuse. That's crazy. The most simple, like, philosophical uh, way I like to think about this is, is if you're walking down the street, I mean, in New York, I don't know what everybody else got. I know we got some people from Costa Rica. And South yeah, Korea. we got a lot of people up here. But yeah. if you're walking down, you know, Malcolm X Boulevard, which is where I live, and you pop into a Dwayne Reed, and you buy a Dasani versus an Aquafina, that's water. That's a Coca-Cola product versus a Pepsi product. Yep. The minute you pull out your car to buy that product because you're thirsty, because you're going to get thirsty at some point in life, Yeah. you make a decision that sets off a whole supply chain of bottling companies and marketing companies and real estate companies and financial companies to deliver you that seemingly simple product. Even if you walk across the street from that Dwayne Reed and you stop at the mission and someone gives you a free cup of water Yeah. and you want to drink out of that <clears throat> comb, you know, paper cup. Yeah. A supply chain of companies to get you that paper company to prop up that mission that lives in that building and those people that deliver you stuff like resources go to them we are intrinsically valuable like people don't create value they contribute it intrinsically they don't have to create it and so anything that two or more people well, let's call them an institution anything that they come together to create the question should be asked what are they owed from that thing that was created? That was created. And it's always something. It's never 99.9% .9 to 0.1%. It might be, you know, 60, 40. It might be something. But it's still that's something. Not, and that's the point. Something. It's still right? something. We're not getting our something. And it's a moral issue. And so what we will do in Congress is we will put bills on the table that not only say how we should have a UBI, but they basically validate that you have an outright ownership stake. Yeah. Of all, all evidence of your life. So that's all of your personal data. And when you have that ownership stake, you can go to every single institution that you interact with and say, you owe me. And it's time to pay me now.
That's it. That's it. So look, we about to have this final battle, best two out of three. That's right. We got this final battle, best two out of three in Mortal Kombat 2. And the last thing I want to say on that is, have you ever looked at your Instagram? Like, let's say you went to look at um, launch, like the launch joint right there that's yeah, on the stream. Exactly. Let's say you yeah. went there, and then next thing you know, you on Instagram or you on a whole nother site, yeah. but you starting to see launch ads everywhere. Like, right. like no matter where you go, all of that stuff is trackable. They follow you and they listening. Yeah. So I'm telling you, the value is there. Go get yours, cause we owe us. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's Go get deal. yours, cause, cause we, we owe us. us. Yeah. I like that. that. I like that. Go, Go get, get yours, cause, cause we, we owe us. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. that's the slogan right there. Yeah. All right, let's that's battle. Track. No, look, that, yeah. Go get yours, cause we. Mixtape is coming. Like, you know what I'm saying? Fall 2020. Oh, fall we lit. Yeah. Oh man. Nah, All right, man. yo, y'all ready? You ready? Oh, All right, let's go, baby. All right. We gotta go out of here. Wait, hold up. My bad. Come on, start. Wait. I got. You know what? I gotta get a new cord. That's what it is. This cord was working before. All right, all right. Now we good. Now we good. All right. So I, I'm gonna smoke you with Scorpion first. It's always most and better. Like Scorpion. Yo, Cheryl. What up, Cheryl? Yo, Vernon. What up? What up? I was coming with that. Oh. oh, I can't block that? Of course I can't block that. Yeah, you can block that. Oh, you can? Oh, nice. Woo! Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh man. Ha! Come on! Let's go! Oh! Let's go, man! Alright, let's go! Let's go! I'm focused! Let's go! was a fight that was a fight sir yo that was yo, like a workout yo I that, that was, was a workout. fight I, uh, uh, his start his start oh yeah uh, yeah yeah there you go yo that was wait why would you want trump to lose strong economy equals strong gaming economy uh are you serious right now i don't know that we have a strong economy no one's getting paid oh that's my dude people. adrian yo adrian what's going on son and uh no this is this is about a whole nother thing with uh, UBI and, and Trump ain't for that. So it's nope, about let's it's go. about making people whole. Oh shoot, I mean to pick reptile. Uh, oh man, I, I don't know it's like what he spits, right? Yeah. Hold up. You want to start up? Wait, wait, wait. Let me uh. That I, I moved the. Alright, cool. Right, hold up. Alright, alright, I'm good. Come on, flawless victory! I'm, right, nah, this ain't nah, my character. Right, this ain't right. my character. We, no, we, don't even get hyped. Don't, don't even get hyped. Don't even get hyped. Don't even, don't even, like, I only want people to think that you special right now, son. <laughs> yeah, come on! Alright, but I'm not that good. I'm not good with Rotel. Like, that's not my character you at all. You beat me on fundies. That's, that's, that's what's most embarrassing. <laughs> you beat me on blocks and jumps and sweet kicks. Dang. 
Yo. Woo! I mean, I'm just That's all right. Let me go get my character. Y'all know good and well that's not my character. This. I'm just saying. Let's go. I'm just Let's saying. Let's go. Are we going back? All right, now, now it's official. Now we officially starting it up. I'm feeling this. Hold on. Here. Oh, wait, wait, my bad. Yo, I'm going to get this. Yo, wait till I get my new cord. That's it. I'm taking hits still. Wait, we good? No, no, nah, no. Nah, that's not me. That's, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm, now oh, we ready. Okay. Yo, Cuddy B in the building. What up, Cuddy? What's going on? Street art. No, we're not using the game to promote propaganda at all. That's not what it is. That's what I'm talking about. Nah. Oh, you. Oh. Yo, you, your fundamentals are mean. Oh! You. Oh, oh all right. All right, final rail, baby. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, what, wait, what, wait, what, wait, back what? Up, back up. All right, all right. All right. We ready? Wait, okay, wait. All right, cool, we good. I'm sorry. Woo, woo, woo. Ah, ah, no, come on. So that's yeah, one to one. That's one to one. That's one to one. That's one to one. All right, final round. Let's go. Final round. Let's go. Oh, man. This is crazy. All right. Uh, all right. I'm going to set up a little. I, I, I'm going to have it like this. Instead. Yeah, it's the wires messing me up. All right, cool. There we go. All right. Let's go, baby. Yeah, yeah. Mega Milk Gaming, what's going on? You said gaming? No. Game. I don't know no gamers that support Trump. Are they going in? Let's go. Let's get it. All right. Dang, man. This joint is annoying right now. But the whole thing came out. Yeah, it's loose. That's why. It wasn't acting like that, though, before. All right, let me know you ready. Okay. Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Woo! I, was I was coming. Yo. Oh, man. Go, final round. Ah, ah come on, baby. Fuck. In the middle. Ah, fuck, I'm ah. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I'm the champion, right. baby. Right. You already know what it is. Belt, That's what happens. <laughs> That's why I got this, baby. <laughs> That's why I got this. Oh man, yo, now nah, but Jay, you the real champion though, man. Y'all hold it up real quick. You the yeah. real champion right, though. Get this, this. You know what I'm saying? With, 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 with what you doing, with the family, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah, this is heavy. Grandma. Yeah. This is heavy. For real. People. This is heavy for real, for real. So with, with, with the work that you're doing, um, what do what do people need to do to get you elected to run Harlem, man? Yo, what, do they, what do they need uh, to do? At jamesstauntonkeith.com or go to uh, votejfk.org. Uh, or just come up, just come up to Harlem. We we right up on 145th Street. Again, come to the march on October 26th at 12 noon 
at Convent uh, Avenue Baptist Church or go to basicincomemarch.com to get involved. I mean, this is the work. Like, this is the fight for, this is not like about your, your standard politics, one guy versus another guy. This is about fighting for people's dignity to get paid in the 21st century. Seriously. Period. Like, let's just, let's just talk about that. Let's start there and let everything else fall into place. So yeah, go to basicincomemarch.org, go to jamesfeltonkeith.com, come up to Harlem, let's just, let's kick it. Let's have a political conversation about regular stuff, because all of this is really a political conversation. Absolutely. On that note, we out of here. One love and God bless. It's the one and only hip-hop gamer, Hot 97. Logitech G, launch life, baby, on your Hot 97 every day. That's my word. Peace and love. One. And that's it. We out.